what's up? Welcome back to Ground Zero Salem. I'm your host, Pat. It's Saturday night. I'm on vacation. I got a couple crushable beers right here. Cheers. Have a couple with you. I also have this lovely stack of underground, international, mostly demo, death, thrash, and black, and I think one traditional heavy metal uh, group of cassettes <laughs> from all over the world, courtesy of my good friend and brother from another mother, Mario, down in Costa Rica. Um, I've actually had a chance to sit down and at least give some cursory spins to most of this. Right now we're listening to, uh, I dropped it, this band Pazuzu. This is a Costa Rican death metal band. Real, real murky and dark. Probably lean on the usual adjectives here. Cavernous, labyrinthine, etc. Um, very good stuff. I got this uh, along with, I got two of these, and I got uh, two copies of this, that is. And I also got a cassette version of this. Um, so, I'm going to figure out something I have another tape I'll talk about as well. Um, might do a giveaway, something like that. Um, Mario expressed that he wanted me to give out some of the extras to viewers, so I don't know if I'll do a contest or whatever, but more on that in another update. So, uh, like I talked about, um, did this trade, sent out my stuff fucking months ago, um, spent at least a month or so dubbing cassettes for Mario, he did the same for me, um, this is what people used to do back in the day, I did a little bit of it when I was a, a kid, teenager, back in the 1800s or 1990s, um, this is how everybody got music around, you know, as I'm sure most of you are aware of or read about, um, obviously in today's day and age it's almost like a cosplay or historic recreation kind of thing. Uh, obviously a lot easier to do with emailing back lists back and forth and stuff like that. Um, still incredibly fun. And uh, at least for me, from my side of things, it's, it's a great way to get a hold of a lot of obscure stuff that I might not know about otherwise. Uh, just going through Mario's lists. I mean, all these bands are on Metal Archives. Um, but as far as you know, going beyond the flavor of the month and stuff that's not on the, the bigger labels and in the distros, it's kind of cool to just have that personal connection and, and get recommendations and stuff like that. I try to arrange these kind of by geography, um, mostly as a <laughs> memorization exercise, so I can uh, not look like a total moron, tell you guys what country these bands are from. Cursory listens for all these. I mean, I got this earlier this week, and I haven't really had time to sit down and fully absorb any of it, but I've listened to some of this stuff, so I'll do my best. But I want to talk and show off um, these two stacks. About half of these have, like, two demos on one cassette, so strap in. It's going to be a long one. Um, if you're not into cassettes and you're not into the more extreme stuff I talk about, I won't take it personally if uh, you take a pass on this, that's fine. So uh, first up, this is uh, actually released on Mario's label, Blazing Obscurity. Um, this is a Belgian band called Dawn of Crucifixion. It's got the nice pro labels on it. Dude in corpse paint chugging a bottle of Jack. Um, very fucking punk black metal with maybe a little bit of early death metal in there. Do G they do G.G. Allen covers. Um, just listen to a couple songs from the live side. Pretty good live sound, considering how destructive the music is. Um, little disclaimer here. Uh, Dawn of Crucifixion stands for hatred, the abuse of alcohol, and mind-altering substances, sexual perversion and deviance, AIDS, and other sexually transmitted diseases unjustified violence, blasphemy, intolerance, war, destruction, chaos, filth, and over everything else, Satan. Just to give you an idea, that that's where they're coming from. High art. Uh, they do a G.G. Allen cover. They do Bite It, You Scum on here. And uh, they do Black Car by Acid. So that's a good, that's a banging song. 
moving over to France. This is like the only pure black metal, or at least like second wave kind of black metal tape I got in a lot. This is uh, a band called Norman Shores. Uh, return to the Norman Shores. Uh, Mario did, I guess it's because he runs a tape label, but he did such a, an amazing job with the J cards. They're all glossy, they're all pro looking. Some of them are on very thick, like, cardstock. They all look great. Most of the dud cassettes kind of look like that. There's nothing really to show for the cassettes. They're, it's a tape trade. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, cursory spin, and of course, it's melodic, um, you know, black metal kind of in the vein of Dark Throne, but not a total Dark Clone, as they say. It's uh, it's really good. Then we got uh, the first two Edge of Sanity demos on one cassette. Um, Her New Gaia, and the very first, first one, Euthanasia. Um, even from their very much more raw, de pure death metal beginnings, Edge of Sanity, Dan, Dan Sueno's band. Um, had hints of melody that are still apparent on this, and it's just great, solid early '90s classic DM. Pretty much, pretty much unfuckwithable. Fucking great. Got a couple of cassettes by a German man called Obscure Ob bleh, Obscure Infinity. This is the full length that I was spinning earlier as I was throwing some laundry in. Perpetual descending into nothingness. This is fucking great. I don't know why this band hasn't been picked up by a huge label. Um, it's melodic death metal, not mellow death. We're not talking, um, you know, Gothenburg sound exactly or anything like that. It's it's much more heavy and intense than that. Uh, but the solos are fucking fantastic. Uh, a lot of early entombed in there, but not that buzzsaw thing going on. More like the songwriting. Um, that horror soundtrack kind of kind of vibe. Uh, great gruff guttural vocals. Loads of catchy melodies, loads of catchy riffs. Fucking great. Um, I'm, my buddy there, uh, Ben Smasher, Brain Smasher, who I'm sure most of you know. Uh, that dude's been kind of on an early death metal kick. Um, this is from 2015, but Ben, check this out if you haven't already. He probably has. Uh, I also have this. I haven't spun, so I don't know if it's more raw or whatever. But this is the Dawn of Winter demo, six songs. Nice thick cardstock, courtesy of Mario. That looks great. Can't wait to spin that one as well. This is the Ripping Death demo. It's a four song demo. I have not listened to it yet. Um, did some research online. Metal Archives, full credit. Um, Looks like uh, it's a super group, or it's a it's an international band anyway. I don't know what other bands these guys are in. I didn't read that far, but it's uh it's uh, dudes from Italy and Spain, I want to say. And it's there's a lot of comparisons to early death metal and stuff like uh, like Master and and shit like that. That's definitely up my alley. That's the kind of death metal I really like. Um, keep it simple, stupid kind of kind of shit. Great cover. Looks almost like Paula Girardi art. Not sure if it is. Uh, maybe I'll needle drop this. Um, so this is Pazuzu. Really good. Mario actually uh, sent me a Pazuzu shirt as well. So I will be repping that as I uh, travel out to the left coast Monday. Yeah, let's, uh, let's throw this on, this ripping death. Let's see what we got here. That'll be fun, right? Experiment a little bit more with just kind of like putting music on and playing, playing shit for people. Kind of like when, when people do that. Uh, I always enjoy uh, Vinyl in the Vans videos, uh, Jay. And uh, he had a 40 minute video where he's just like, yeah, let's jam records. You know, and I, if it's the right personality, I, I love that. Aaron the Metal Theologian is the fucking king of that. Uh, switch over the tape here. So yeah. Some moaning. Oh yeah. This has Ground Zero Salem written all over it. 
fucking great. Four songs. Uh, Cyanide cover, Rage War, I think, is the song. Yep. Not this song, but it's on the tape. You know what I mean. Um, then we have uh, Tractor Off. This is some out there shit. Um, this band's from Croatia. It's uh, it's punkish, kind of thrashy black metal, but there's a lot more to it than that. Um, I haven't fully absorbed it, but there's some weird stuff going on. Um, almost some like kind of feel goody rock parts thrown in. Um, very very odd. Got got a distinctly punk kind of flavor, but like a catchy like songwriting based punk, not like you know bone all or something like that. Uh, on the flip, we've got an out of print. Caligari release, although I recommend uh, peeping the Caligari band camp and checking this out, and if you like it, buying it, but this is uh, a Spanish band, Evocacion. It's the cover. Uh, this came out a couple of years ago on Caligari. It doesn't look like it has a title. Just demo 2016. Um, really fucking good. It's... Uh, I did listen to this one all the way through. It's, um, Doom Metal, uh, but Death Doom with, uh, a little bit more of a ritualistic bestial kind of thing going on. Lots of all-over-the-map kind of vocals, um, yeah, just tortured, very evil, very foreboding, and really, really, really good. Um, this I've not listened to. This is another Spanish band, El Darion, Blood of the Dying. Great uh, cover art there. Kind of reminds me of Pestilence. But also Doomy Death Metal, from what I read. Um, again, it's cardstock. Fucking so nice. Cheers. Um, what's up next? Some classic American shit. Uh, I should throw this on. Uh, no, I don't want to rewind it. Um, obscure American band, I think from PA, maybe Jersey. Not Hemdale. We've talked plenty about Hemdale. Um, Hemdale's on the flip. It's band Taxidermist. Uh, Sodomize the Dead, Funeral Procession, Souls of the Inverted, Infected Lung Rot, 1993 Maggot Vomit. So, yeah, I'm expecting raw, early American death metal. Uh, they think Impetigo, you know, Rotting Christ. Cool shit, it seems. Uh, this was... I had picked out all this stuff, and uh, Mario sent me another update with, that was all photos. It was like, I got some classic demos. Some, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, they're from Connecticut. From America. I got some classic demos. These are the... I, ha I got the originals. So, to add on to any of the other stuff take a look through these, and it was this, and uh, some of the Edge of Sanity stuff, and I think a few of the others. Fucking really cool. There's a, This is a Hemdale, and I'm not sure if this is on the Red Jackson compilation or not. I think it's live. Um, let's see. Recorded it live, live at Shooters and Erie, PA. Um, trying to imagine anything other than Brothers Keeper happening in Erie, PA. It's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of y'all out there know Bro Keeps, but not the, my favorite hardcore band from the 90s. Anyway, yeah, live Hemdale EP album almost. I mean, really, really long uh, track listing here. Oh, the Stench of Secretion, Pus Filled Carcass, Tribute to Anal Cunt because we think they're cool. got uh, Psychosis Face. This was one one of the demos from the, the ori batch of originals that he got that I was like, extremely hyped on. I haven't spun this yet, but I am well familiar. Spun it yet since receiving this copy, but I am well familiar with um, Psychosis. I talked about one of their 7 inches. I think I even went to the trouble of putting a, a sample up. This was a 7 inch update months back. Uh, real twisted fucking weird uh death metal for sure but some kind of techie thrash stuff going on real demented vocals um why don't i just throw this on let's let's spin this
Um, but the story with psychosis is that I used to do a zine, or I did one copy of a zine with my buddy Matt back in the day, back in high school. That was when I tape traded a little bit. Um, and uh, the zine was called Angel Puss. And we didn't interview psychosis, but whoever the guy I had contact with in the band sent me a, a copy of this for free for review. The original version of it was really nice, like really well printed. And actually, Mario's version is pretty good too. Like, again, color everything. Dude's in the band. I love. Hope it was this guy who sent me stuff because he's just like got that look. Like, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, this is. It's almost got kind of a Hell Witch thing going on. Drink a beer for the working man. Old Stone Cold. Oh, yeah, it gets real weird. Demented vocals, almost like the accused. Fucking so good, man. All uh, right, another fucking awesome. You know lesser known Chicago death metal band um, not typical death metal at all it's like almost like dream death Celtic Frost like sludgy sort of thrash um, scepter up thy ass up thy ass um, few bands can have a bunch of anthems about just being fucking metal and pull it off I, I think Scepter does it better than Man of War ever did, but uh, not much to see with the J card, but just really nice card stock there. Great stuff. It was guys from um, a Chicago band called Dead Youth, and they split off into a couple other bands, but Scepter was one of them. Um, as far as I know, they didn't do much else than this, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, on the flip, we got Violent Dirge from, I believe, Poland? I think this band's Polish. And this, I mean, you know, if, if you're hyped on recent uh, Dark Descent stuff, especially Blood Incantation, if you like older techie death metal like Atheist, if you like uh, Time Ghoul, <coughs> this is uh, definitely along those lines. Real crazy, crazy fingers, bass work all over it, sci-fi theme, guttural vocals, technical, um, cosmic type shit. Really, really good. I hope I've got this right by the whole Poland thing. I'll put corrections down in the description. Also, in the description, I've been lazy with links lately. Um, it's going to take me fucking ages, but I will put links for all this stuff that I can find. So yeah, that's pretty good. America, Poland on the flip. Then more Poland. Polish metal, it says right there. This is Mordor with nothing. Um, fucking really, really impressive, and I, this is old, I believe this was a 90s release, um, love that cover art, it's, uh, it's doomy death metal, bordering on almost kind of funeral doom pace, uh, kind of funny, second, si second song, or first song on the second side says their eternal cover song, cover of, um, Paradise Lost, Eternal. They do a great job with that, but yeah. Dragging you down. It's a good representation of what the what the music captures there. Um, just just plunging into the depths. Um, depressive, crushing, doomy death metal. So cool. Um, we have this Arbitrator. Kill their religion. They say that was called nothing. It's called nothing. Uh, this is Russian thrash. And uh, also Crazy Fingers bass, but like slap bass. And, all, you know, I, I think there's something to be said for cultural vacuums and working in a lot of weird influences that don't really coincide um, in the Western world, or at least at the time that this was recorded, you know, 20th century. Uh, there's parts that have, like, almost funky slap bass, and in any other universe, that shit sucks. Like, that shit sucked when Mordred did it, uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. 
when Suicidal started getting more slappy, uh, the songs that had that all over it, I did not hold up for me. Oh god, I mean, shit like fucking Ludacris and all that. Um, and it's not like all over this, it's just like a couple, a couple of the songs that I heard, but it's... Maybe it's the notes that they're playing aren't like funk in nature, they're thrash metal, but it's, uh, it's kind of neat. I kind of like it. Um, definitely not like anything I've heard. Uh, then on the opposite side, we've got Pandemonium, Devilry, and I'm gonna have to plead the fifth and, and say that I, I don't remember where this band was from. Uh, but it's, it's raw, it's raw death metal, kind of a black metal thing going on, like first wave black metal from what I remember. But, love that, uh, Jake Hart art. Kind of reminds me of Poison, something like that. Um, yeah, it might be Eastern European as well. Poland. Yep, okay, another Polish man. Smart, Mario. Keep it, keeping it geographic there. Poland, Russia. Close enough. Um, then kind of heading into South American... Latin America kind of territory. We have a uh, neckbreaker. This I need to I need to throw on for you. This is uh, Brazilian. I think it's a little bit too heavy to be considered like straight up traditional heavy metal. There's a it kind of verges into the speed or power metal territory, I guess. But does this dude have a set of pipes, man? So weird. So good. Kind of reminds me of the last stuff uh, Dr. Shrinker recorded, that, that eponym demo and shit like that. It's twisted, kind of techy, nutty shit. Yes. I mean, I just listened to, like, this is still the first song. I listened to, like, half of the song, but I was already feeling it. This is uh, two demos on here. You got the Killing Continues. Uh, maybe this was an official EP. I don't know. But uh, and then uh, just the demo. I think it's a demo with some live songs uh, tacked on. Neckbreaker. Nice again. Nice glossy, well done double sided J cards. Like certainly worth the wait and all the. The worrying and heartache about whether or not I was getting these is really, really impressed and, and flattered that uh, Mario went to all this effort. Mine were good. Like, I used co color color printed uh, J cards from my printer upstairs, but fucking awesome. Um, got some classic Mexican death metal here. Deathless Ignominia. Really raw, thrashy black death metal. Sorry, that's not the Deathless. Riffs. They got them. Keep fucking with the volume, sorry. Um, an ossuary. Well, I've heard a lot of good stuff about. Haven't listened to this side yet. Uh, I know it's classic, uh, classic Mexican death metal, so... That'll be cool. One thing that's interesting, seems like they, they this fan Ossuary had a, a bunch of ties with uh, people in America and stuff, and they thank uh, Jim Callahan. And if it's the same Jim Callahan I know, which is, what's the likelihood of that, but I know a guy by that name that lives in Rochester, New York, that's been in a lot of good bands, so. Who knows? Maybe it's the same dude. Jim Callahan, sick drummer. Uh, up next, we got Morbid Stench, The Stench of Doom. This band is from El Salvador. Again. So good. It's a neck breaker, man. This is, uh... I have not listened to this yet. I did listen to it months ago. It's actually one of the few bands I, uh, I previewed. From what I, from what I remember, it's, it's old school death. Kind of, kind of Scandinavian sort of stuff. Like, a little bit more on the doomy side, but... That's always up for correction. But El Salvadorian, 
death metal there. This was the thir first thing I spawned. I listened to the whole thing. I threw it in the car um, on my way to work. Another Costa Rican band, Chemicide, Radioactive Annihilation. Completely unhinged, vicious thrash metal. Um, little loosey-goosey musicianship, musicianship-wide. Not in a bad way. It doesn't sound sloppy, but it's just so fucking full of energy and frenetic. Um, shrieky vocals. Got a little bit of a Teutonic kind of vibe to it. Um, fucking just nasty. This is uh, put out by Mario on Blazing Obscurity. I got copy 227 out of 500. Um, yeah, this is fucking great. I mean, if you, if you like your thrash fucking violent, look no further. No, no pizza, no mutants here. Um, Costa Rican band Cywar, from deep depressions to the borders of suicide. This is, he put on just a regular black cassette. Pretty interesting sort of uh, lyrical, I guess, aesthetic approach. Um, everything's kind of about like psychological disorders, it appears. Three members there: psychosurgeon, psychoneurotic, and neuro grinder. It's uh, it's thrashy kind of death metal. Um, actually, why don't I just throw it on? It'll do it more justice than me kind of babbling and trying to trying to make words with my mouth. It has that raw kind of quality that a lot of first wave black metal and, and demo era death metal has. Um, sounds like it's analog recorded. I'm not sure when this came out, how old this is. It sounds old in a good way. Got that sort of punkish, sort of minimal distortion. Kind of, kind of echoey. Echoey, somewhat buried vocals. Um, almost kind of sounds Brazilian in a way. Um, a lot of that classic Brazilian death thrash metal stuff. Pause and drink a little beer here. Yeah, just fucking crazy all over the place. Uh, I have the cassette version of the Pazuzu, Pazuzu record that I played in the beginning there. Uh, again, this is great. One of these, either this or the CD, I'm going to give away um, with another release that's coming right up. And that release is a split between... Costa Rican band and a French band. And since this seems to have ended awkwardly, let's throw it on. Repulsive Death is the Costa Rican band, I believe, and Pulmonary Fibrosis is the French band. This was released on a Costa Rican label. Uh, Psycho Grind. Both bands are pretty grindy, deathy, from what I read. Um, cool looking cover there. Tales of the Grotesque. Sharing a title. So yeah, if you like what you hear here, I've got an extra, I've got an extra one for you. Just need to figure out a proper uh, contest or giveaway or something. We'll get there. Another split here. Uh, Negatron and Effluvium. Both these bands, I, I believe, are from Southeast Asia. Haven't listened to this yet. It seems almost like, I mean, it's... With a name like Negatron, there's definitely like, again, kind of a sci-fi cosmic thing going on. 
uh, with both bands. Uh, a song called Into the Black Hole, um, The Astral Portal. Uh, and this is old too. This isn't like they're hopping on that what's kind of popular lately shit. This is from 2004 and 2003. Um, yeah, they're from Malaysia. Uh, it appears Effluvium's from Malaysia and uh, Negatron is from the Philippines. But um, Effluvium has like a song called The Omega Code, a song called Zero Ward, Nocturnal Emissions. So it's sci fi themed thrash. And I mean, wow. I love cover art like this. Just like anything that involves a big hooded executioner guy. And this one, he's about to slay the Pope. And that guy thinks it's funny. Yeah, this is a little bit more like thrashy kind of death metal than I was expecting. Um, yeah, this is fucking dope. This is Repulsive Death. Definitely hear some repulsion in there. I don't know. Maybe that's me. Uh, Malaysian black metal band, I think. Again, one that I haven't spun yet. Um, black Shepherd, United Evil Forces. I remember right from the description, I think this is kind of black and thrash stuff. Nice J card there. Definitely interested in a lot of bands from Southeast Asia. I feel like they, they come from a different place. Like I was talking about with this sort of cultural vacuum stuff. I remember the first time I heard Impiety, a complete, I heard Skull Fucking Armageddon, and it completely blew my mind. Because it sounded like nothing else I'd really heard. I hadn't really heard much Best Deal stuff at that point, though. That was like 18 years ago or something. Um, and the final one, this band Bloodstone, uh, definitely wins the best cover art out of this whole lot of tapes. Uh, it's called FTW, and it features a demon sticking his wee-wee through the planet Earth. Um, there's a lot going on there. This is great. This is another Southeast Asia band. I think they're also from Malaysia. They might be from Singapore. Um, there's the guys right there. Definitely uh, early destruction worship, kind of. The, the vocalist does that high-pitched, ah, you know, smear thing. And it's, uh, and even, and uh, Frankie Blackfire from Sodom and Creator fame rips a couple leads on this. Um, it's really fucking good. Uh, it was the last thing I was listening to before I fired up the camera. So, that's every almost everything that uh, Mario has sent me. There are a few dubs that didn't have covers. Um, there's a, a stack of CDs. Unfortunately, I, I went to... I went to Record Exchange Friday, uh, yesterday. Got got a few got a few LPs and forgot to ask them if they had any uh, CD cases. Oop, time lapse. Yeah, it looks like uh, I ran out of ran out of space on my phone, so I'll finish it up now. It is the next day. Had night time to change in my nice new Pazuzu shirt there. Um, so as I was saying, uh, I got a bunch of CDs. They were shipped without the cases because they're just gonna get cracked anyway. Um, and I, I went to Record Exchange, like I mentioned, and I forgot to grab some blank ones. They had plenty of them there. I just spaced it, so it's kind of sloppy having all these labels kind of hanging out. But uh, this isn't a see, just just a mess. This is Necrolysis with uh, Devastator Metal. It's what I'm listening to right now. Fucking great, scrappy thrash, angry. Kind of speed metal-ish kind of stuff. Um, haven't spun this yet. Paganus Dotrina. No idea what that sounds like. Haven't listened to it yet. Another Costa Rican band. Links will be provided. Uh, we have a full-length CD by Repulsive Death. Putrid Acts of Depravity. So, playing them last before uh, the video cut out. We have the Devil's Grave compilation. This is a Chilean compilation featuring, amongst others, Metal King, Battle Rage, Profaner, Procession, Graveyard, Nocturnal Vomit, Unconsecrated, 
remember on Unconsecrated being really good, so that'll be a good listen. And Abattoir, the Hegion de la Bestia. Doing my best. <laughs> this is a Panama City band. Um, not sure if I put this on my want list or Mario just threw it in. Looks pretty, uh, pretty best deal. Came out on Dunkle Height. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. There was a, a couple of dubs without covers that I'm not gonna. It's no purpose in showing them. There's no covers. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks to Mario for uh, the wonderful experience of trading music in a physical medium. Uh, I cannot wait to listen to all this. You know, uh, I'll probably spin some of it in my upcoming videos. It's gonna be a while before I do one. As uh, I mentioned, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, getting up bright and early at like 4:30 in the morning to catch a flight to Seattle. So that'll be good. Wish me safe travels, everybody. I hope everybody has a great week. And uh, thanks for sitting through all this. And thanks to Mario and Tape Traders Worldwide. Um, Ground Zero out. Have a good one.